x-intercept. And that is the point at which the graph crosses the x-axis. So we all kind of picture that in our minds, the uh, horizontal axis, the x-axis. And there's a graph, and it's going to cross somewhere. And that point, right, it's a point, so it has two coordinates, x, y. That point is the x-intercept. An x-intercept is a point a zero right so it might be one zero two zero three zero and so it's interesting that uh, if we talk about the set of all x-intercepts what are we talking about we're talking about all the points on this line and what is this line uh, it is the x-axis and that's where you got to be if you're going to be an x-intercept. So an x-intercept is a point A0. To find A, we let y equal to 0. y equals 0 when you're on the x-axis, right? All these points that we plotted, these are something 0. And y is 0 in that case. So it's interesting that the x-axis is also known or its equation is y equals zero mm -hmm. the y-axis is the line x equals zero and so that's that's kind of uh surprising sometimes for students that the the x-axis is the line y equals zero and the y axis is the line x equals zero uh, to um, find a you've all you've known this since pre-algebra to find the x-intercept set y equal to zero solve for x to get a y-intercept set x equals zero solve for y example find the x-intercept of this point well we're going to let y equal zero and solve for x then 2x equals 18 divide both sides by 2 x equals 9 so 9 0 is the x-intercept y-intercept set x equal to 0 solve for y graphically is the point at which the graph crosses the y-axis or the vertical axis it's a point 0 b Every point on the y-axis is the point zero something. Set x equal to zero, solve for y. So in the same equation, set x equal to zero, solve for y. Then 3y is going to equal 18. Divide both sides by 3. y is 6. 0, 6 is the y-intercept. Okay, so now that was the point. That was the problem find the intercepts but now we want the bigger problem graph the line um, we know it's a line because let's see we've got x to the first here we got y to the first here all of that right there tells you that it's a line or a linear equation the graph is going to be a line a line is a graph of a linear equation, and that happens when all the variables x and y are raised to the first power. Okay, so um, we already found in previous slides the x-intercept 9, 0 and the y-intercept 0, 6. Uh, we always like to have a third point as a check because even though it's true that two points determine a line, according to good old Euclid, we could make a mistake. And so um, we're going to get a third point because if we had made a mistake, then the three points that we end up with won't be collinear. We'll know we've made a mistake instead of moving on, not knowing that we've made a mistake.
We find a third solution as a check. We put 5 in there for x. Okay, so here's our intercepts chart right here. And if you're just going to get the intercepts, this is what you're getting. So we got 0, 6, we got 9, 0. But let's, let's get a third point in there, 5 something. Put 5 in for x and see if we get 4y. We make the substitution. 10 plus 3y equals 18. Subtract 10 from both sides. 3y equals 8. Divide both sides by 3. We get 8 thirds or 2 and 2 thirds as the y value. 2 and 2 thirds. And so that's also a solution. So now we've got three points and we can draw a graph. Okay, so when we are getting the intercepts, which is a great way to graph if we have been given an equation of the form ax plus by equals c. Uh, because it's easy to get the intercepts, set y equal to 0, solve for x. And it's kind of like you could put your thumb over it and, you know, solve the resulting equation. And we've already done this, but 2x equals 18, divide both sides by 2, x equals 9, and the point 9, 0 is an x-intercept x-intercept. Well, to get the y-intercept, we could put the thumb over the x because we have to set x equal to 0 solve for y to get the y-intercept. So it's as if the um, 2x isn't there, right, because we're replacing x with 0, and 2 times 0 is 0 and zero plus anything is the thing, which is three y. And so put your thumb over it, three y equals 18, divide both sides by three, y equals six, and the y-intercept is zero, six. And in the previous slide, we also got a third point by substituting five for x and solving for y and getting eight thirds. We plot the points, and we get uh, points which are in fact collinear, so apparently we didn't make a mistake. Apparently we did not make a mistake. The points are collinear. We know we have the right line, but it's almost impossible to make a mistake with those intercepts, especially if you have a uh, form ax plus by equals c. I mean, how do you miss a you know how do you put your thumb over one term and fail to solve correctly a, a one-step algebra equation okay so there's our line